The list of champions is growing. From Steven Chitwick in 2018 to David Peters back to back to Sean Winter in 2022. The US Poker Open returns in 2023, ready to crown another champion. Okay, oh, man. Unlucky. We are ready to award another gold crown <laughs> trophy as Phil Helmut walks into the studio yesterday. The boys are back in town, and we are here coming at you from the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. My name is Rem Rinkema, Donnie Peters alongside me as we take you inside for some exciting poker action here on our YouTube channel. We'll be live all day until a winner is crowned, so don't go anywhere, and please let us know in the chat who you are rooting for. As always, Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call on the Mothership Station. If you are a PokerGo subscriber, please head on over to PokerGo.com for some real professional commentary as we love to shoot the shit here with the chat and have some fun as Andrew Moreno is clearly still waking up and a big yawn can only mean that he is very relaxed coming into this event with already seven caches under his belt, his third final table of the year so far. And there is the studio mainstay, Mr. Justin Young. The question is, is it bourbon, is it whiskey? What will he be drinking at today's final table? Mr. Justin Young searching his first career 10k no limit tournament win young of course accomplished both in tournaments and cash games and here's a look at the global poker chip counts of today's event number one justin young on top 101 big blinds over 4 million chips he's got to be the big favorite coming into this one but there he is at the bottom of the standings mr jonathan little pokercoaching.com is of course the brand that he represents and i'm sure we'll have lots of john little fans here in the chat with us today. Here's a look at the payouts, 63K guaranteed for the final six players. We had over 15 finish in the money, including Daniel Negrano min cashing for 21K, and then $231,000 up top for the winner, diving into hand number one, as we see Mr. Nacho Barbero on the far right. That's for sure, okay, because that's way out. Mr. McEwen here, first to act with the King-10 offsuit, and Donnie, oh, haven't even had a chance to include you in the show, but we had quite an exciting day yesterday, as this all of a sudden, became our biggest No Limit event in the studio to date. That is correct. Absolutely jam-packed out there from start to finish. We had to have alternates for a little while here and there because every single table was in play inside the studio. You mentioned that record setter for a No Limit Hold'em event, 105 entries, 15 cashed, including Mr. Daniel Negreanu. Eked in there, 6.50 to start. 15th place, his 11th cash this no year on it's the 2023 okay. PGT. PGT ambassador, or sorry, Poker Go ambassador and oh, survivor, no. super celebrity, Boston Rob Mariano. He also finished in the money 13th. Ren Lin, last player Nine to bust in seventh Nine place before suited. this final Brutal. table that you guys see here. Open. How do you crush? Let's go, man. <laughs> Dominated nation. Queen nine you had? King nine suited. Wow. Wow. It's good to see Nacho Barbero in the mix here in this 10K yeah. buy-in yeah, event. 40 minute levels, I, I, I 30 second gonna, shot clock, I'll, I'll me for 12 yeah, time uh, banks start. to start at the final well, table start. if There's you didn't black, use black any of those <laughs> at yesterday's <laughs> final <laughs> like table. <laughs> Sorry, the, yesterday's so day how does one work? play. He gets one that he doesn't want to, he changes it? Yeah. yeah. Continues yeah. to be the year of Nacho. That's what he was, he was literally yelling it during the PLO series, okay? He's cashed for more than $3 million already this year. Oh my God, I hate He already won a Poker Go like, Tour event at them. the PLO Series. Now he's at this final table. I fucking the year of Nacho. Hey, I would take your position. Yeah, I know. Nacho <laughs> will allow me to say this because me and him go way back. I think I've known Nacho since I was 21 Yesterday, years old. Yesterday, a guy upgraded it too to Ace King and he won big pot. Nacho Barbero is the, like that. Is the Argentinian Joe Hashem. <laughs> he yeah, never he, gets he there. Gotta, uh, he always he needs his one he time. He's always so unlucky. <laughs> Unluckiest player, player in the world, but also extremely successful. And in my opinion, one of the funniest guys on tour. But definitely wears his heart on his sleeve and is a lot of fun to watch. And with the chi chip stack today, could really make some waves. Uh, let me pay some attention here to the stream. Everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. we got Jeff and Brent on the call on PokerGo.com. They, of course, are known for some proper strategy analysis. We are here to also shoot the shit with you guys in the chat. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from. As always, we play the same game with the chat here. Let us know where you're watching from. What are you drinking? What's going on in your life? Trying to build up a bit of fun here for the upcoming few streams. We have tons of free streaming coming up during the U.S. Poker Open. 
He was not Told you. Fan, and I made an extra line. <laughs> it's so easy. This hand? Yeah. Yeah. You're the nacho, man. Get out of the right? way. It's so easy, Matthew. Look, I made a one extra line. I hate those hands. I, I hate them. I always bust on like a miss deal or like a flash card. That, I'm very superstitious. Yeah, actually, it helped me out a lot. I picked up a pretty good hand. We're playing 25k, 50k with a 50k big blind anti. Cost you money. Like I said, every 40 minutes the blinds go up. <laughs> Thanks, John. Yeah, you could have made a lot of money. That too. Oh, we got Amsterdam in the house, New Zealand, Czech Republic, Republic, South Africa. 40,000 chips, a third of a starting set. Got Northern Island full, in the glass house. Glass it's yeah. been a while. Yeah. You know. yeah. A third of a starting set. But we need what? Weather, location, and, and drink. What are you drinking? Exactly. Let's go, people. Well, speaking of weather, oh, it's finally oh, nice weather in Vegas. Set. It is. It yeah, every, every day. Yeah, yeah I would see on social media you and your girlfriend complaining that yes. you guys can't ride, ride outside. It was either too cold, raining, or just too windy. Too windy. Yes. One of the three. It's so horrible. Wait, it even snowed a bit in there. <laughs> Man of Straw says, where is David Peters? Yeah, I made I eye contact with Mr. David Peters in the studio <laughs> prior to you, walking so here uh, to do commentary. He is here. He is yeah, playing. You your beard and and um, I will over the whole give you guys a little tease. A beard, he did a tough it. conversation with Mr. Jonathan Jaffe, oh. and it is phenomenal. Will Jaffe. Sorry, Will Jaffe. What? Get my Jaffe's confused. There's too many of them in Pokemon. Too many Jaffe's in Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh, listen to those vibes. That sounds great. Um, here's a look at the age and 2022 winnings of the players at the final table. A bunch of guys in their 30s at the final table. Nacho, already 41 years old. Andrew Moreno, the most successful player in 2022 and continues that trend here in 2023. Donnie, you're good friends with Andrew. You've been saying for many years that he should come to the studio more often. It's about time. What percentage cut do you get from all the money he's winning? <laughs> I should. I don't know if I should get a percentage cut of the money he's winning, or I should get a percentage of the rake that he's paying. <laughs> One or the other. Either I've helped usher him in here, right. or I've brought in a new player, so I should get some of that recruiting money, that affiliate money. If you play poker at the use promo code Donnie. <laughs> Give the man a little kickback when you when you uh, when you buy and tell him Donnie Peters sent you. Exactly. It's not going to do anything, but it might look good. Exactly. Good on your performance review. Here's John's a little all in pocket sevens. Andrew Moreno with no the decision, looking at an ace jack offsuit <laughs> in the big line. You get the call. You get the beard part. You just sevens a game. Fourth time. That's insane. Fourth time seven yeah, guys. It was so Recently. It was crazy because yeah. every move apart. Like, all right, Jonathan, give us the analysis. Over, You're a poke <laughs> coach after all. <laughs> so I, I don't think I ever got called. I kind of did like something. It was so yeah. funny because there's like. All right, Chad, what do we think? Does it always come seven, or is the ace and the jack not holding back? I mean, it's the battle of two great hands. Here comes the flop. I gotta look that up. Jack four ten. Moreno pairs his jack. Top pair, top kicker for him. Not looking good for Little, who eight. has his yeah. spades covered as well. Seven, looking eight, for eight, one eight of the two remaining sweat. sevens. Eight, eight, eight for a sweat. Queen. What about a queen of cards? Oh, the queen of cards. No this is the one where I end up winning. With the queen. <laughs> you know how this goes. Lucky is it going to be there for John Little, or will he four be the first player eight. eliminated from this final table? Every card. It is okay. the four of clubs. Goodbye. John Little <laughs> exit. Good in the next one. Wow, look at the cool new graphics, though, Donnie. John Little eliminated. <laughs> 60 cool new <laughs> graphics. I don't know if you saw the new all-in triangle yes. that's out there. Picture. We got new buttons. That's pretty making a little bit more spiffy in the studio this year, oh, man. I forgot. We ain't oh messing around. God, all right, that Players, of course, hopping in straight room. into the next event. Once they get eliminated, we have a 50K cash bonus for the player who gathers the most points over the course of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. But well, more importantly, Donnie, yeah, yeah. we got a million dollar frugal at mad. the end of the year, it's okay. and these points all you count towards that leaderboard. <laughs> Heck yeah. Top 40 on I the leaderboard will qualify you know for mind, the like, PGT Championship. As Grumpko day, said, a million dollars will be on offer. 500K for first place. And even if you're not a PGT player, you can still win. That's as of today. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and we'll and get to that at some point. My big question is, how can I enter this tournament? Well, $10,000. No, I mean, oh, oh, the PGT I wanna Championship. Be, I want to be in the million dollar free roll. If you are an you annual Poker Daddy? Go subscriber, we are going to I send mean, three Daddy. annual Poker Go subscribers to compete mm -hmm. in the PGT Championship. Just announced today. You guys can find the details on pgt.com slash dream dash seat. Three drawings, mm -hmm. June 6th, uh, July 17th, and then one later on in the year, 
likely during the Super High Roller Bowl final table when we solidify that date. So if you are a Poker Roy annual subscriber, you can watch High Stakes Poker, No Gamble in the Future, WSFP content, everything we have. And you can possibly compete against, like, I don't know, Daniel Negreanu, Jeremy Osmus, Kerry Katz, all those guys. That is such sick <laughs> value. That is incredible. We're probably going to repeat that a few more times for everyone watching. But, yes, every annual PokerGo subscriber will have a chance to win this draw to get into the Million Dollar Free Roll. While you're at it, and if you're watching on YouTube, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We, of course, release daily clips on our channel keep you guys updated on the latest and greatest in the world Nine. of Poker Go Poker. Nine Young balls. and Moreno battling here. Oh, oh. Both players. <laughs> is it too late? A pair of nines. That is, that is a split pot. Up. Is it a chop? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Painful. Mm. Moreno Cash missing game. out on the fact it's all good. Yeah, that this is a good. chop pot. Maybe some good karma, Donnie. Don't up worry, I don't, the want mistakes early, the I way. don't worry. I don't worry, I don't worry. Story time? You don't know? <laughs> Just go on the internet. Yeah, go I on mean, the internet, watch Nacho Barbero. So, I, mean, yeah. I can't feel too bad about it. <laughs> Not pay attention I mean, to the biggest final table of the year. Yeah, <laughs> that the was game, the, <laughs> the big lights, I was good blind. Yeah, you know? First final table, <laughs> Donnie, it's fine. How much was at stake there, Donnie, for Nacho? A couple million? Four million up top? Four million? He's just not paying attention to what's going on. Incredible stuff. Action here on Joey Wiseman. Ace-King offsuit, raising it up from the cutoff. Moreno with ace-three off on the button. Kicks it into the muck. Let's see what else we got here. Sarah asking how many entrants. We had 105 players in the tournament. Penty says, Finland's blizzard water. I mean, if I was in Finland in a blizzard, I would not be drinking water. But hey, that's just me. Chase Miles got some black coffee going. Bubba's in the house from Texas. Love to see it. <coughs> Lee says Norfolk, Norfolk, England with a Kraken dark rum and cola. Okay. I'm guessing it's probably 9 p.m. in England. Very good choice as far as the beverages go. Barbero here defends from the big blinds. With Jack-10 offsuit, doesn't catch anything on the flop, does have backdoor draws. We got Jamie Bluffett in the house. Appreciate you tuning in, helping us out here, keeping things tight in the chat as Wiseman continues for 150. Got some J Little fans in the chat. Unfortunately, he was the first to bust. The structure of these events is always very similar. Play down to a final table on day one, and then the final table on day two generally lasts, you know, three to six hours, depending on how the chips fly. But it gives these players a chance to hop into event number two because, of course, they're going to want to gather as many points as possible for the overall standings to win that massive Gold Eagle trophy. That probably weighs, what, 50 pounds, Donnie? That Eagle Trophy? I think it's 60. 60? It's incredibly heavy. Uh, Yoni, with a $5 donation, says, or asks us, will Daniel Negreanu be playing any of the tournaments this weekend? Well, Yoni, Daniel already cashed in yesterday's event, which is today's final table stream, and he's already back into event number two. Donnie, I think it's safe to say Negreanu more motivated than ever before and doesn't seem to be missing any events in Las Vegas. He definitely wants to make the PGT Championship Million Dollar Free Roll. He has some side bets with other players on total season-long PGT points. Um, Daniel's much less of a traveler these days. You know, enjoys sticking to events that are in his home city of Las Vegas. So we have a ton of stuff on offer this year. We had the Cup in January. Then we had PGT Mixed Games. Then we had PGT PLO Series. He didn't miss an event. Played every single one. Um, and now he's out here for the entirety of the U.S. Poker Open and then, you know, probably take some time off before the World Series of Poker, but uh, he'll be playing all 10 of these events for sure. You know what you started with? Ish. Ish. Like that be 2.7. Young and Barbero battling here as Barbero comes in with three bet from the small one. King Jack off Sudani. That's a little, a little spicy for my taste. Yeah, but I mean, King Jack off is a handy one. Oh, one point Young one kicking it up. 
not wasting any time. You dominate a lot of premium hands. I mean, you dominate one of the hands that Justin Young actually has here, <laughs> as we can see. Um, but I don't mind getting a little bit uh, aggressive with the King Jack off here. Man of Straw wondering about tomorrow's stream. We're going to do full stream tomorrow as well. So block off your Saturday. Join us for some high stakes poker tournament action. 10K buying once again. Stacked field on day one. I just walked through in between the tables. Saw lots of familiar faces. Is Nacho thinking about getting extra crazy here? Like, I, mean, I mean, could see it happening. I mean, he seems serious. Short, oh. short handed. Button versus small blind. You know, like I said, you, you block a lot of the premium holdings. Another thing that Nacho said during the PLO series, ICM is for poor people, Remco. <laughs> 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 that could be going through his mind right now. I mean, <laughs> honestly, he's not wrong. I worry a lot about ICM, and I'm not And very Nacho, rich. you know, Nacho wears $800 sneakers. I saw, I looked them up the, yesterday. Fendi sneakers, like he's out there. I mean, ICM is for poor people for sure. If <laughs> I were, if I was wearing the necklace that Nacho is wearing, <laughs> it would be a $20 necklace. The fact that he's wearing it means that it costs at least $9,000. All in. All there in, wow. There it is. And Justin the Young with the snap call. Cookie jar caught. Mr. L Nacho Barbero. Little side there from Nacho. <laughs> Probably thinking, you know, you're not supposed to have that hand. I have the king. You're not supposed to have ace king. <laughs> I get one of those faces. Is well, the year of Nacho of over? Faces. Or will this run out determine whether or not the year of Nacho continues? Let us know in the chat. Are you rooting for Mr. Barbero? Or is our local legend, hometown hero, Mr. Justin Young, going to grab a commanding chip lead? after the completion of this hand. Barbero here at risk, flop comes out. Ace, deuce, five. <laughs> About as good as Justin Young could have hoped for. Also got the backdoor clubs to go along with his top hair, top kicker. Barbero looking for running cards and perhaps rooting for the running 3-4. Might be his best chance, but there's a king on the turn. GG Doesn't guys. do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that means he is yeah, GG bro. indeed. Nacho Barbero eliminated. I love how his first name is no longer even a thing. Do you know his middle name? Jose Ignacio Barbero. There it is. <laughs> Barbero to the rail. <laughs> Got caught with the King Jack offsuit. Very unnecessary, Donnie, but like he said, ICM is for poor people. Clearly he's a rich man because he's on the rail and Mr. McEwen grabs a nice little page jump. Ernesto says, punting and bumping. Fireworks to start for sure. Two wow. people already out? Hello. It's crazy. Um, let's get to 100 likes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're off to a bit of a slow start here. We'd love to see some more engagement in the chat. If you have any questions for us, do send them in. My name is Rem Korinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me. We'll be here for every single one of these US Poker Open streams. Actually, here between Wiseman and Young. Young, massive chip leader now with 7 million chips. Donnie, I'm not going to suggest or, or speculate on the net worth of Justin Young, but <laughs> being in the spot that he's in, he's got to be thinking of you know, punishing people and pushing them around a little bit given the stack sizes. Yeah, especially with McEwen there, you know, pretty short, just under 11 big blinds total. Um, you know, Justin Young, I think, is going to really lean on Wiseman and Moreno when he gets involved with them. We'll see if he elects to do it in this spot. Doesn't look like it. Wiseman picks one up. With Gun Gunther in the house saying, greetings from the kingdom of Tonga. That's incredible. Is Tonga in like the, the Pacific, like oceanic region? Your guess is as good as mine. I think it is. Look it up. I think it's an island in the in the like country in Oceania. Boom, got him. My geography skills still on point. Polynesian Kingdom. I want to be called a kingdom. Red Hot Chili Peppers Lego says in Spanish everyone named Ignacio, Ignacio goes by Nacho. That's true. That is really funny. I did. I thought he just liked nachos. I thought he was just like a big cheese guy. Big oh. time. 
Do you, does he look like a man who eats nachos? I've been to dinner <laughs> with Mr. Barbero, and I'm going to tell you, this man loves to eat. But not nachos. Come on. No, it's more of like a sushi type yeah, vibe. Maybe some steak. Yeah, he, he ain't eating nachos and 800 dollars sneakers, man. That ain't <laughs> happening. <laughs> When's the last time you had nachos? A long time ago. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, I haven't had them in a long time. Hey, chat. When you order nachos, what goes on the nachos? We, I need to know this. For people just tuning in, we already lost Jonathan Little and Nacho Barbero. Right off the bat, almost. Yeah, first few hands. 50, Two middle stacks here going to battle. Wiseman and Moreno. Uh, Devin Mansfield with a good question in the chat. Donnie, I'll pass this one on to you. How long, on average, would you would you say these poker players have been playing to get to this level? Years. Ten years? Five to ten years? Wow. I mean, Justin Young's been around forever. Twenty years. I mean, Andrew Moreno's been around for a long... I mean, Andrew Moreno started playing poker in Indiana before coming out to Vegas. And that was before I met him in 2009 or 10. So, you know, he's been playing for well over a decade. Joey Wiseman, same sort of thing, playing for quite some time. I'm less familiar with <laughs> McEwen, but I'm going to guess he's been playing for at least five years. I mean, you're t you know. There's Especially no these days with, with online poker in general being, you know, less of a thing, like the, that the come up through the online poker streets, you see less guys and, and gals out there, you know, coming through the online poker ranks and then taking their shots in live poker. A lot of these people have been around for quite some time. Do you feel as though as a 20-something, as a it is almost impossible to break through and be a regular at these stakes? Like, do you, do you have to just be seasoned and, you know, carefully build your bankroll to get a chance to even do this? Yeah. A little, bit of, a little bit of Daft Punk flavor here <laughs> as we look at inside the numbers. The U.S. Poker Open history, this is the fourth time we ran the series, 42 events. $44.8 million in total dollars paid out here. Most cash is, of course, Mr. Stephen Chidwick. He is the still the GOAT of the U.S. Poker Open. And we had 139 unique players so far finish in the money at some of these events. Look at the chat Stephen here. Stephen Chidwick hasn't been here yet. No. I should give him a call. Where you at, Stevie? Saw saw his um, his uh, um, his imposter, Dylan Lindy, <laughs> bubble yesterday. Seth Davies. Seth Davies. <laughs> yep. They all look the same. Jimmy Bluffett, meat, cheese, queso, onions, peppers, guacamole, sour cream. That sounds great. You're just missing. You're missing like the pickled jalapenos on top. Vincenzo says, if you're clever and patient, like you can also do it in a couple yeah. of years. Yeah, yeah but you also got to build up a massive bankroll. It's not easy these days. We had 105 players in this event. Down to the final four. If you're just tuning in, please smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel. We are streaming so much in the next week and a half. And I wanted to say every day, but we are taking Sunday off. We are streaming tomorrow, and then we're streaming on YouTube Monday through Saturday, and then again on Monday and Tuesday closing it out with a 50K final table. So if you had plans, cool. tell your boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> that it's all canceled See ya. because you're going to be watching poker for the next week or so. It's going to be a great series. We're going to follow closely how that race for the Golden Eagle is going to develop. And, of course, you know, take all your questions, have some fun, do some giveaways in the chat, and remind you every 30 minutes or so that every annual PokerGo subscriber is automatically entered into a raffle to win a seat in a million dollar free roll poker tournament, which of course will be happening in the studio in December of this year. Bubba J says, onions, bacon, mushrooms, and nacho cheese. Like that one too, that's a good combo. Young here betting with his pair of sixes on the ace six deuce flop. McEwen flops bottom pair, giving it some thought. Donnie, can you tell me anything about McEwen? I'm not too familiar with I the can. gentleman. I can. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll have to do some efforting. Call his mom. Shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't take too long. On. Wow. Shoves with the deuce. Uh, I can see Justin Young making the call here. This is not a whole lot more. 
Just to recap here, Justin Young limped the small blind. McEwen checked. Not really indicating a whole lot of strength here with the small stack. Makes the call quickly. Justin Young on the money here yep. as McEwen is at risk to be eliminated. Just shy of a million chips in this the middle here. The Two cards to six, come. Five, six. Yeah. This, I don't think. Justin Young is doing work here. Let's see if McEwen can get some help here on the turn of the river or That's else we'll be point. down to the final three. Let's see the turn card. Oh, GG. Ace on the turn, seven on the river. McEwen eliminated in fourth place. Takes home 99K. You good like this? Or nice like start to the, the series. I don't even know the, maybe at break they'll like give us some spread around or whatever. But Feels a little. His largest yeah, live tournament cap. You're intimidated. This one, you're of course. <laughs> the hand of mob duck. I mean, the tip wow, stack is go. impressive. That's the best thing about me. Three players <laughs> remaining. Three big names remaining. Justin Doctor Young, Joey Wiseman, Andrew Moreno <laughs> battling for the first prize of 231K. Yeah. Just want to make sure we all, all can reg by first break. That's all. Yeah, mm. get it done. <laughs> Justin Young, of course, referring to the fact that these boys will hop into the next event as soon as they get a chance to. Keegan says, no hesitation in the call. Indeed, no hesitation. Very strong read there from Mr. Justin Young. Well, you think that McEwen would likely get an ace in pre-flop given his stack size, so... Here's a look at what we referred to just a few minutes ago, the PGT Dream Seed. We are sending three annual PokeGo.com subscribers to play in our season-ending million-dollar free roll. Join now or upgrade now if you want to give yourself a chance to win a Dream Seed. Use promo code DREAMSEED to save $20 on the annual subscription. So wait, That's we're right. doing a discount and you get a chance to win to play in a million dollar free roll? Yeah, so normal annual price, $99.99. $20 off takes you down to $79.99. That's a great deal. Less than eight bucks a month. Right now, we're running High Stakes Poker and No Gamble in the Future each week. New episodes. High Stakes Poker on Tuesday, No Gamble in the Future on Wednesday. If you missed the first episode, the double episode of No Gamble in the Future this week, that took place two days ago, bananas. It was one of the wildest bananas, hands yeah. you will ever see in poker. <laughs> and then, of course, starting in June, Basically, seven weeks straight of World Series of Poker coverage. It's so wild. Plus, you can win the Dream Seats. I mean, come on. Here's a look at event number two going on right now in the studio. Mr. Boston Rob Mariano finished 11th in event number one yesterday. Got a little min cash and is back for more today. Good to see Rob back in the studio. Of course, multiple times Survivor winner. Here's a tweet from him. Who knew playing poker took so much work, studying, and preparation? Finished 11 of 105 in the first event of the U.S. Poker Open. Was a huge thrill to get to play with some of the best in the game. He played with Negranu, Osmus, Don Little, just to name a few. Shout out to Chibler the Coaching and Jared Tendler. He's working on this game. Yeah, last year he had a little a little post, him and Chance Corneth, kind of like signing the contract like they do in sports, you know, signing up with Chip Leader Coaching, getting out there, trying to improve himself. He's been battling. Love it. This isn't the first 10K he's played in the studio, but it's good to see him get into the money, take home some dough. He's already back out there in event number two, as we saw. One bullet, he said. Let's go, Rob. Just one bullet. Just keep spinning it. Exactly. If you just keep cashing, let's go. He's going to extend his stay. And Moreno, look at his bio sheet. Of course, became a known quantity to the general public with his win in the 2021 win millions for $1.4 million dollars also on YouTube embrace the grind go check it out Moreno on the button here with King 5 offsuit we're still getting some more nacho submissions <laughs> in the chat love to see it JD Scott says ground beef cheese tomatoes avocado lettuce refried beans sour cream onions jalapenos and now I'm hungry thanks JD now I'm hungry too uh, Donnie when's the first drawing uh, June 6th. June 6th. Okay. So about a week into the World Series of Poker, that's when the first drawing will be. The second drawing will be on July 17th, which is one of the WSB main event final table days. And the third drawing is at a to-be-determined date, likely during the super high rollable final table. We just haven't exactly pinned down that event yet for dates, but probably somewhere in October or November. Wow. 
Okay, so, so circle those dates in your calendar and tune into the live streams on which we will announce the winners of those draws for the Dream Seeds. Here's a look at our chip counts as it stands right now. Moreno, the short, the short stack in air quotes with 46 <laughs> big blinds. Joey Wiseman in second with 65 big blinds. And then, of course, the behemoth, Mr. Justin Young. 150 big blinds, 57% of all the chips in play. And I saw a question here in the chat from Nate Forrest. He says, current annual subscribers qualify for that drawing? Question yes. Mark? Yes, they do. Every as long, well, hold on. As long as you still have your annual subscription on those drawing dates. Yes, of course. If for whatever yes. reason you your annual subscription ends next week and you don't renew, well, then you're not in. Right, <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you are in on those drawing dates, you will be into the big pool of our big machine. That's great. That we're going to pull the tickets out of. Awesome. We're just about to hit 100 likes on the video. That's about the least you guys can do. Smash that like button. We're going to be here all day with the remainder of today's live stream. Just also a reminder, if you are a PokerGo subscriber, Jeff and Brent live on the call right now. I know Jeff and Brent have tons of fans as well. We just launched, like Donnie mentioned, Thanks. the first episodes of the new season of No Gamble, No Future, in which I even get to play a minor role. That's right. Which has been really funny. as the What's it called? The Wheel of Death? Wheel Master General. Well, it's, it's, it's the Wheel of Pain. The Wheel of Pain, sorry. And I'm the Wheel Master General. Yeah, we don't want anyone dying on, the, on No Game of the Future. I don't want to spoil anything, and I won't, <laughs> but there's there is some absurd stuff happening with the Wheel of Pain later on in the season. Absurd stuff. It's been it's been a hoot. Anthony says, hitting Vegas today. Flight got delayed, or I would already be there. What's the plan, Anthony? You here to grind? Grind, March Madness. I mean, it's a pretty crazy time to be out here in Las Vegas. Oh, there's never a bad time to be in Vegas, Tony. Wiseman and Young in a hand here on the turn. Small pot, lots of checking so far. Let me see the river. Nine on the river. Wiseman's ace high is good here. Justin Young is going to do the betting, though. Oh, there it is. 115 likes on the video. Appreciate, appreciate it so much. Later during the, the USBO, we'll do some annual <laughs> subscription giveaways, meaning that those, you can th get those, those, drawings. those hold a lot of weight, Donnie. <laughs> those hold a lot of weight. Heck yeah. And just so everyone knows, that PGT Dream Seat is going to be valued at about twenty to $25,000. That's because there is going to be 40 to 50 players in that tournament, rough, you know, give or take. Million dollars on the line. You guys do the math. Let's go. Chris Mace says, going to Vegas for the first time, <coughs> first time ever, day after Easter. Anyone going to be around for a tour of the studio? D day after, what's, when's Easter, Donnie? What date's that? Funny. I don't know. I was Easter talking is. to my wife last night about Easter, and she's like, on Easter, we're going to do this. On Easter, we're going to do that. I said, when is Easter? <laughs> I, give me an actual date, please. This, <laughs> like this, this, the Google.com, <laughs> usually quite reliable, says April 9th on Sunday. We won't be here. No. Studio, studio closed. Studio will be closed. That's really sad. And we've been taking Sundays off, so it's kind of a double the whammy there. I will say this, though, and this is, this is, there's 800 people watching right now, so you guys will, will hear this, and, and you guys only. During the World Series of Poker, if you see me at the Horseshoe, formerly known as Bally's, Give me a little nudge, introduce yourself, and I'll give you a little tour of our set and our setup during WSOT. That's right. We are here for the fans. We are here you're for the people. You're going there today. The horseshoe. I, 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 w I was going to. Oh, you're not. But this is going on. <laughs> oh, I'm true. Here, I'm here for the poker true. action. With the way these guys are playing, we're going to be done in the next 15 that, minutes. That is actually also <laughs> a possibility. <laughs> this is how much I've been thinking about nachos. <laughs> Ernesto Ernesto just said karma got him got him in the sights balance and sues and instead of balance I, I read lettuce lettuce and sues and I was like what's what does lettuce have anything to do with it arrive on the turn here Wiseman bets 100k on the flop young made the call young with ace five here no draws Wiseman Paris is nine. Also had the heart to go along with it. Got Greg Fleming in the house from BC, Canada. Hope the weather is turning a little bit there. I know it can, can be spooky out in BC. 
three of diamonds on the river. Wiseman's pair of nines is good. Vincenzo, with the, 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 the trick play, he says, I smashed the button twice for you guys. That means that he, he unliked it. We hit it twice. I think it means that like, the like is gone. You might hit it one hit it a third time, Vincenzo, <laughs> just, to, just to be safe. Make sure that the thumbs up is, I think it's black if you clicked it. <laughs> and it's a gray if you did. A little value bet here. Yeah. I was gonna say we, fold. we could see if a call, but it's a quick <coughs> fold. Um, you know when you're when you're standing at a at a pedestrian crossing traffic yeah. light, and you press the light twice, it cancels. Wait, wait, wait. Does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I always thought that it did. <laughs> I was like, wait, did you just figure something out that I never knew? <laughs> <laughs> JD Scott asked an interesting question. I have no idea the answer to it, but does, does that mean Binion's Horseshoe downtown is no longer there? Oh, I have a good a response to that. That was not ever called Binion's Horseshoe. That's just called Binion's. Because it's, not, it's not owned by the same company. Huh? I think there was, and, and you know, you guys don't quote me on this. I haven't <laughs> researched this at all. <laughs> but I believe there was a bit of a family spat 20, whatever, 20, 30 years ago. That's when the name changed from Binion's Horseshoe to just Binion's because there was a split in the family. And uh, therefore, the Horseshoe name was available for Bally's, which is now Horseshoe, which is owned by Caesars. You guys still following? Correct. Justin Young here, last 10 hands, lots of green. Dominating so far at this final table. We're three-handed, he's got 60% of the chips in play. Pays to be chip leader in a spot like this. H, H far Econ says, ho I hope someday Missouri can legalize online gambling. Man, I sometimes I'm just like going these rabbit holes on the internet trying to like read about what certain states are doing as far as regulation and it is so complex and it is so complicated and it, it makes just no as sense it pertains to, to the online gambling yeah stuff? just yeah. any like not just the the gambling also like the sports betting and, and yeah. the poker stuff it's it, is, all over it, the place. it is so complex and then you know i'm from the netherlands you look at the netherlands they just legalized it in the country whole country done like just yeah. you know it took a long time for the laws to get passed but once they're passed it's a legal thing for the whole country of course netherlands is tiny compared to any state in the U.S., but I uh, I was hoping and expecting that when UIGEA happened, and I was already playing poker back in 06, that it would go a little bit faster than what we've been seeing so far. And here's a look at one of our new sponsors, Donnie. GTO Wizard involved with us right now. A little overview here at the USPO event number one stats, 105 entries. 15 players finished in the money, and we're down to the final three. with Ace King 3 betting to 400k after Moreno made it 100 with pocket 7s. Donnie, is this a, a sh shove opportunity or is this still too deep? I think we could see this going in um, here. There it is. 2 million in the middle. Joey Wiseman with the quick call. Massive coin flip situation and we could be looking at heads up play if thing. Joey Wiseman manages to win this Do coin flip. I guess it's up to them. Wow, huge spot here for both players. Okay. Up to the poker gods as Moreno points to the sky. I was really hoping for the snap fold. <laughs> King 4-0 or something. I was not hoping to see the pair, but this is what it is. 4.2 million in the middle. One of those spots where with so much money on the line, I see him at play, you know. Standard, but also not necessarily a spot you want to be in for either player as we see Wiseman take the lead. Exactly. King on the flop for Joey Wiseman. Takes a commanding lead. Moreno looking for running cards to make a straight. Or, of course, one of the two win, remaining man. sevens in the deck. <laughs> really hard. Deuce on the turn. He's not going to do it. Two outs for Moreno. 
or will be down to heads up play between Joey Wiseman and Justin Young here in event number one of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. Is it always coming seven? I, I always <laughs> thought it was coming seven, so let's see it. Ooh. It's actually a six. The right Close, and the, and the seven of diamonds is live. I know. <laughs> Andrew Moreno <laughs> eliminated in third place. Cash is for 126K. Man, you guys are deep. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of poker left. Yeah. Good start. 25 big blinds there. each. Yep. Wow. Well, average 150 for quickly. Justin Young, 100 for Joey Wiseman. Andrew Moreno does not get the fold and then does not win the flip. You can hear Paul Campbell in the background suggesting perhaps a bit of a color up. These guys have tons of chips to play with. We're down to heads up play. U.S. Poker Open event number one. 155 big blinds for Justin Young. 7.7 .7 million versus the 5.3 million of Joey Wiseman. Now let us know in the chat, who do you think is going to win this? Is Justin Young going to go wire to wire? Or is Joey Wiseman potentially going to take the lead and finish this thing off as we look at the chip counts presented by Global Poker? And here's a look at GTO Wizards. Pull your phone out, scan the QR code, and find out what this is all about. The number one app for poker players. You hear the word GTO all the time. What is it all about? Well, GTO Wizard has all the information for you. Donnie, you, of course, have played around with this since you consider yourself a bit of a genius. Played around with it a bit of an understand. You, I'm in there you, every you single day. You, you live every there. Every single day using GTO Wizard. I know our guy over on the Poker Girl commentary, Jeff Platt, also uses it pretty regularly. Um, if you guys want to check it out, just head to gtowizard.com slash poker go. Start crushing the competition. One of the things I love about GTO Wizard is if you head over even to the GTO Wizard YouTube channel, they have a lot of free content that's available. Helps you really know how to learn the tool. You know, a lot of these solvers out there, you get in there, you're kind of lost at first, myself included, but you know, GTO Wizard really does a good job of kind of walking you through the, the processes. They have a lot of coaches that put a lot of content out that say, hey, like, let's look at this spot or let's review how you can do this sort of stuff within the, within the software using the tools. Um, so yeah, if you really do want to take your game to the next level, I mean, I'm, I'm all in on GTO Wizard. I mean, I, I use it all the time. I think it's great. So, get in there. Quick little color up there, and the stacks a lot more manageable for Young and Wiseman as they kick off heads up play. And Queen Queen Nine rolls off the deck here on the first hand, and Wiseman just smashes it right away. Troy the Van says Justin's got this. Tom Mitchell says go Justin. Az. AZ Brownie says Justin for sure. Bubba says go Justin. Tom says go Justin. There it is. Lee Specs, Wiseman for the win. So we got some Joey Wiseman fans in the chat, but Justin Young, <laughs> the fan favorite. Donnie, do you think it has anything to do with the fact that Justin Young is always up for a good time and always li livening things up when he plays in our cash games? Oh, ton of fun. I mean, he, he, he brings that cash game player mentality and, and persona to the tournaments as well you know he's always having fun right from the start usually got a whiskey in hand from the start you know like he's always just he's down for a good time he's also an extremely good and accomplished player if, if I had to make a short list of, of people to hang out with on like a Sunday to watch sports and have a few <laughs> beverages he's up I, there. I would probably call Justin Young and Brent Hanks maybe we smoke some meats you know play some video poker Sounds great to me. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of getting hungry thinking about it. <laughs> you can make them some nachos. You know? Yeah, nachos <laughs> with uh, some little, little queso dip on the side. Here's a look, by the way, at the final table payouts. 15 places players cashed. Right. Donnie, Negreanu last night lost almost all his chips just before the money bubble, but then was still able to sneak into yeah, the money. I was surprised to see him get in. Yeah, and Dylan, <laughs> Dylan Lindy was the one who bubbled. Yeah. I mean, Dylan Lindy just got into a clash that was kind of unavoidable, allowed Negreanu to get in for what was Negreanu's 11th cash in the PGT this season. Just a cash machine. Yep. He's basically our Alan Kessler <laughs> in, in a way. I mean, <laughs> he is. I think he was joking about that, that on the Dat Poker podcast, so I'm just having a little fun with Daniel there. But uh, eventually he'll break through. You know, he'll get there. I, th I think he's got a future in poker, Donnie. I mean... <laughs> If I was a betting man, yeah, but you know, I don't know how much I would, I would put on it. Joey Wiseman here flops two pair as Justin Young continues for 100K after raising before the flop. Wiseman playing it coy as Young now picks up a flush draw.
for, sure. as, for as fast as we got to heads up play. I think we're in for a lengthy battle here. Oh, yeah. These guys are under no pressure to, you know, rush things. The event number two registration is still open for <laughs> quite a few hours. And uh, there's, a, there's a title on the line, Donnie, and there's a trophy on the line. These guys are playing for serious money. You can see one of the smaller Eagle trophies in the top right corner. Every player winning an event this week is going to receive one of those Gold Eagle mini trophies. And then, of course, the 60-pound, you know, a 20, 25 or 26-kilo Gold Eagle trophy is going to be for the eventual overall champion. Two pair. Two pair by Wiseman as the action gets checked on the river. Listen. And quickly, Wiseman chips up here. You know, as we said at the start of this match, both these players very deep, both very successful as well. The uh, the depth of the stacks though might favor Justin Young a little more. He's more of a high stakes tournament or sorry cash game player, um, which you know cash games always play extremely deep, especially at the stakes that Justin Young usually frequents out here in Las Vegas. So um, he might have an advantage here at least while these blinds stay low. But Joey certainly no slouch, of course. And it's uh, certainly going to help picking up the hands here. Ace King suited for Joey Wiseman. Makes it 125. Not much to go on here for Justin Young with arguably one of the only hands <laughs> that you're not defending here. Donnie, give, give us some insight on heads-up play. I know this. I know play every hand. Well, that's, that's, that's <laughs> what I'm going. What that's are we what doing? I'm, that's what I'm getting at is I've heard lots of people say over the last few years that in heads-up play there is no folding before the flop. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to, to fold pre-flop. You know, you have to really open up your range. You have to play hands. If you don't, the blinds, the big blind ante, it's Chris. just going to eat away your stack. That said, these guys are so deep that maybe Justin Young does take a 4-3 offsuit off every now and then, right? Um, you're likely going to see some limping. I don't know how much limping you'll see at these stack depths, but you do see a lot of limping heads up just trying to take flops in position. But generally speaking, yeah, you guys, are, these guys are going to want to open up their ranges and certainly play as many hands as possible, and you know, mostly in position. And then post flop, I mean, you're going to see people continue with some stuff that might look like a head scratcher on the surface. You know, a lot of high cards, a lot of bottom pairs, stuff like that. It's hard to make a hand and hold them in general, <laughs> um, you know. And then heads up, just because you're forced to play so much, you really have to press things when you have more marginal holdings. Can't just be waiting around. Yeah, and the, and the interesting part about heads-up play is that you don't get to do it all that all that much. You know, back in the day, there was tons of heads-up online sit-and-go action, even heads-up cash online. Nowadays, unless you get someone that wants to play you, a little, little bit of heads-up for rolls type action, <laughs> maybe some grudge <laughs> matches to fight out, uh, you got to really last all through the tournament to get oh into yeah. a situation like this. Th is, is that perhaps also a reason why... You know, you might see some strange outcomes during heads-up play because players are just not playing this format all that much. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting because, you know, as a poker player, generally, if you're trying to get better, you want to work at all aspects of your game, which would include heads-up poker. Um, that said, how often are you actually heads-up, right. especially if you're a tournament player? I mean, how often are you heads-up in a tournament? It's extremely hard <laughs> to get down to five, the final That's table, let alone heads-up play. Um you know, Justin Young might have a bit of experience in some cash game. Maybe you get shorthanded in a cash game and you're just playing some heads up there. I think Joey Wiseman has enough experience on the tournament side of things, especially coming from the online world, that he probably has a lot of heads up experience as well. Could you treat playing blind battles in normal games a little bit like playing heads up? A little bit like heads up. And, you know, generally most pots you see in all of poker are heads up the flop you know i mean it's it's more common than going you know three four five handed to a flop etc but you still have the other dynamics of the other stuff that happened at the table either before or after i love to see that they added a trophy to the table it's sitting there right behind the card graphics it, it is in my opinion one of the best trophies we have stairway to millions trophy is still the best though that big gold staircase two beer here for mr. young we got official SLP watching from Namibia Africa that's awesome there you go 
stacks pretty close to even overall after Wiseman took those early pots. AZ Brownie says, Justin has a great time at the table, especially when the Johnny Walker Blue is flowing. <laughs> Been there, done that. Wow. That's, uh, that's, qui that's quite, the, um, quite the night that you were invited to, or perhaps at the table that you sat at. When the blue is flowing, I'm sure it's a great time. Yeah. We got Ronald watching from Chapala, Mexico. Love to see it. Where, where's everyone from? We, we did this at the start of the show. We do this all the time. We basically want to know where you're watching from, what's the weather, and what are you drinking? <laughs> Just having a bit of fun here as Justin Young. It's not but the best card for either player. Here. Right, right. right. <laughs> Justin Young's two pairs now changed quite a bit. You know, Joey Wiseman's hand. I mean, Justin could certainly have a 10 here. Young, of course, not going anywhere with the top pair. No, definitely not. Wiseman not really blocking anything of, si of significance, Donnie, or do you think that him having the king high has any sort of effect other than perhaps a little bit of showdown value? I think at this point you might just take the showdown value. Wiseman, of course, also winner of the BetM Jam Poker Championship, which we live streamed as well from the Poker Go Studio. Yeah, last year. Royal Flush <laughs> Heck yeah. at that final table. Two million? Wow. Two the million. Bet here. Wow. Now we're playing poker. This is what I want to see. Justin Young with the check mark. What's going through his mind right here? I mean, it feels like a guessing game at this point. I mean, it could be a hand where Weissman is extremely polarized, doing this with a 10, doing this with air, you know. It's probably less likely in Justin's mind that Joey has a jack. I mean, one, would he choose this sizing? Two, two of the jacks are gone. There's one on board, I have one, you know. Wiseman's perspective, I mean, it looks like he's targeting this exact type of hand. Targeting, trying to push Young off a jack, off a three. Wiseman's never making this bluff if he was able to see that Jung has top hair, right? Getting him to full top hair in this spot is a little little over, mean, the, over the line. Not necessarily, because I think the sizing lends itself to, to trying to push Justin Young off of this type of hand. You know, trying to represent that you have a 10. Wow, there it is. Gets it through. Lays it that. down. Doesn't show. Joey Wiseman here, creative with the bluff. And that swings things into his favor for the very first time. Wiseman now in the lead. 7.1 million to 6 million. And it is all about Destination December 2023 Book Road Tour Championship. The top 40 players on the PGT standings will qualify for this million dollar free roll. You qualify at all the events listed on the pgt.com schedule. There's over 100 high roller events in play, including some of the WSCP events. Now. So we might see some more mixed game specialists get up there and getting them to chase would be a lot of fun in the fall of this year. Oh, yes. get caught up on the chat here. We have tons of people chiming in, tuning in just recently. Melbourne, Australia, Pittsburgh, Ireland, Detroit, Michigan, Italy, Staten Island, New York, 45 degrees, cloudy, and just the water. James keeping it simple. South Africa, whiskey raining, says Keegan. We've got Texas in the house, Westminster, Colorado, Morocco, Finland, Jacksonville, Queensland, Jackson, Jack's Beach. 540. 540. Oh, Joey Wiseman, Donnie. He's just, just going for trying it. Trying to take this control of this match. Yeah, I love to see it. Oh, 
Another pot for Mr. Wiseman, extending that lead. I mean, it's really been Joey Wiseman's match this whole time since they got heads up. I mean, he started out by making, the stack. making some hands. And then as the match has progressed, he's really been stepping on it. See one of those limps on the button with Joey Wiseman, seven six suited. Good flop for both players. Middle pair, Justin Young. Flush draw for Joey Wiseman. If you're tuning in to our YouTube channel for the very first time. Let me remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our big goal is to hit 400,000 subscribers. We're about 10K away from there, so don't think it's going to happen today, but hey. We got a whole week of streaming, and it'd be awesome if we could close out the series by hitting 400K subscribers on YouTube. So please do smash that subscribe button when you tune in. We got daily new clips on our channel. So if you love poker, I will promise you, you're going to love the action on our channel. Check, check on the flop. Yeah, battle of the pairs here on the river. Young with the best of it. Yeah, went bet call on the turn from Young. Young betting his second pair. Joey picked up a pair of sevens to go along with that flush draw. Blank on the river. Justin Young going to go for some value here. Probably thinking it's likely, unlikely that uh, Joey has a king. Didn't raise pre-flop. Didn't bet the flop. Feature there one. from Joey. Oh What's that? So I finally Vici in one. You got me. <laughs> You've had a few. Yeah, that was I mean, early. lately I know. <laughs> in the Seems last so longer. ten hands, Wiseman has won seven. Justin Young only three. Wiseman's still in the lead. Yeah, I mean, the heads up match has been all Joey Wiseman so far. He's won the majority of the hands. He's essentially flipped the chip stacks from where they started. Hands like 9, 10, 7, 8, you know, the, even the unsuited connectors are very nice to play in heads-up formats. Young here with the raise, and Wiseman with one of those few hands you can actually fold. Big Ahen says, is it only the final table that will be, that will be live streamed for each event, or does Pokego have event two live right now as well? Just streaming the final tables every single day you think you know poker, check out play.pgc.com and make free picks for a chance to win. Go check it out right now while you're watching. Play.pgc.com. Make your picks for a chance to win some fun prizes. Giving away a couple hundred dollars in value. Oh. You know, over the course of the USPO. How about it? Free to play, as Remco said. Great companion that if you're going to be watching these streams, mm -hmm. Head on over to play.pgc.com, uh, make some picks on some simple questions. For example, will Daniel Negreanu cash in event number three? Table. Click yes, click no, whatever. Go through it. And if you top the leaderboard, you're going to win a Poker Girl Shop gift card. There you go. As simple as that. Keegan asking, how long are you streaming for? We're streaming until there's a winner. So <laughs> however long it takes today to get down to a winner, we will be here with you guys until there is a winner. Back tomorrow with the final table of event number two. If you want to follow along with event number two, you can do so on pgt.com. We have live reporting li live reporting live right now. we got Eric Seidel, Nate Silver in the mix. Negrano is in the house as well. Started out with 63 players. Late registration and re-entries still available for quite a few hours. So that field should swell up a little bit. And Negrano off to a good start. See him in the top 10 already. Alex Foxen in the mix. Shannon Shore, Jeremy Osmus, Darren Elias, Dan Smith. Plenty of interesting names to pick from. 
meanwhile, arrived on the turn. Young made it 150 before the flop. Wiseman called. Young, or sorry, Wiseman check called 75k on the flop. And here's the turn, Jack of Diamonds. And looks like Justin Young is going to continue here. Vincenzo is wondering if we covered the WSOP as well. Yes, we are. World Series Poker will be a nice blend between events on PokerGo and events on YouTube. So if you are excited and anticipating the World Series of Poker, might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. You'll be in the know about everything that we are doing. And of course, hit that notification bell. That way you're reminded of all that action. A million in the middle here King after hmm? Justin King Young high. bet 250k. And King High is good. <coughs> is Joey Wiseman just playing with Justin Young at this point? <laughs> Marius says... Poker Go was terrible in the beginning, but has slowly gained traction and is one of my favorite poker shows now. Marius, <laughs> I'm glad we could convince you. I'm glad we could pull you across the finish line here. <laughs> what a great comment. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> That's right. Donnie, I used to hate your guts, but I think you're all right. You're a pretty good guy. Pocket fours here for Wiseman. Raising it up on the button. Young defends the old king three off. I mean, if you're Justin Young and you've been sort of bleeding chips left and right, does it does it hurt your confidence a little bit knowing that Mr. Wiseman seemingly has a little bit of an edge on you so far? I mean, it could. I think Justin Young is experienced enough. He's been around this game enough. He's played enough that... He knows that poker has its ups and downs, both in the long run and also in the extreme short term, like within a heads-up match like this. And it's also a spot where Justin Young is going to recognize King. that they're deep enough that he doesn't need to get too crazy right now. You know, if they were much shallower, you know, if Justin Young's playing 20 to 30 big blinds, then the pressure's on much more because <laughs> you're forced to, like, kind of make a move, make something happen. But here, being, you know, however deep they are, 100 big blinds deep on average, 110. I mean, tons of chips to play with. So even though he is losing early, he'll be all right. Jacob says, I still hate Donnie's guts. Wow. There you go, Donnie. You got some fans in wow. the chat. Wow, hater. EVing says, Poker Go Podcast was one of the worst. Now it's all right. Well, the only thing that changed is that I left the show. <laughs> so I guess you're a big Tim Duckworth fan, which I can, I can respect that. Tim works hard. Eveen must be Australian. That's, that's the only thing I can come up with. Repicharge. Now he gets pocket fives. What is, Joey Wiseman is a card rack today. <laughs> Did you guys know that in Australia they don't have rebuy tournaments? They have repicharge? <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest Just word. Made, made up word. That's the funniest word in all the poker. The repicharge? Yeah. <laughs> they kept saying that yeah, when I was down there for the first time. I'm like, what are you talking <laughs> about? Same. <laughs> Shout out to... <laughs> Australia, scariest place on earth. Can I get a flat? Can I get a? Can I get a black <laughs> coffee? So you want? Do you want a flat white? <laughs> huh? I want a black coffee. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Good times. As Wiseman's fives are still in the lead here. Heads up play is not that hard when you're making pairs all the time. Anthony's asking, will the studio be open after the la live stream is done? The studio is open all night tonight because event number two is playing down to the final table. So if you are in town and you want to just, you know, swoop on by, take a little look inside the studio, more than happy, you know, just come right in. I think last night the action finished a little after midnight. Wiseman trying to get the showdown here. Let's see if Justin Young is going to take a stab at it. Checks behind. Ace high. Usually yeah, will four. win. Yeah. <laughs> a pair of fours. Oh, sorry. Even uh, a pair will usually even, will win. Even a pair will usually win, yeah. Not when you're playing Joe's, Joey it's Weissman good enough. today. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Same.
Here's a look at Joey Wiseman chipping up nicely over the course of the last five hands. He's won eight of the last ten and four in a row. Pretty impressive. If you're in the chat, if you're watching, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing lots of giveaways on the stream in the coming days. Today, a bit of a warm-up to get everyone excited about the U.S. Poker Open. 50K cash prize of top four, the eventual series champion. Lots of points up for grabs in the race for the PGT leaderboard. Top 40, of course, will qualify for the million-dollar free roll. And I, I have to mention, credit on the first one. <laughs> at the same time, there are dream seats available for that event, for the million-dollar free roll, for annual PokerGo subscribers. The first use promo code up, right? dream yeah. seat. Nice. You can make yourself eligible for our first drawing on June 6th. You have to be an active subscriber. Probably the last. By the time the drawing happens. Stacks still pretty close here. Also pretty deep. Justin Young sitting on 86 big blinds. This is probably the deepest heads up play we've ever had. <laughs> I think so. And this is incredibly deep. shoes I did you yeah, like them right out of the box yeah <laughs> th that's also they cost $800 like Nacho Barbero they did not <laughs> they cost less than 10% of that <laughs> I believe they were 50 bucks they're nice yeah I'm happy with these little like white Nikes little Golden Knights touch on it looks yeah, like nice and clean yeah that's the problem usually I can never keep my shoes clean oh yeah I walk the dog and then it's just ruined King Jack, 7, 10 on the turn. Another pair for Joey Wiseman. Just Why not? <laughs> just going through all the pairs in the deck. Justin Young with some hope here on the turn. Picking up an open and a straight draw. Wow, Wiseman finally lets one go. <laughs> Justin Young must be really happy to, to re reel in a pot here. Here's a look at that beautiful 60-pound Gold Eagle trophy that awaits the overall US, USBO champion. Here's a look at the best USBO performances last year. Of course, Timon Nakamura, two wins, six caches. The year prior, Peters with three wins, and then Chidwick in 2018 and 2019 with two wins a pop. I'm really feeling sad that Steven Chidwick has been MIA. Got to get him on the horn. He's like a mainstay. <laughs> Got to get our guy Brent Hanks. I think he's the one who's the wrangler. Got the best contact right. with him. You know, Let's see what he's up to. Where he's at. For everyone who's tuned in and with us on YouTube. Let us know in the chat. Who are you who are you rooting for sort of in general when events like this come around? Are you just, you know, straight up Negranu Helmuth? You know, you only take the top dogs or I think Negranu or sorry, I think Helmuth lasted like eighteen minutes yesterday. Yeah, but he's gonna come back today <laughs> at four forty five, <laughs> three minutes before it registration closes, and he's just gonna make the final table. I think he's gonna do it. But yeah, I wonder if people root for like the stars or if they have like their own personal favorites from, from watching the streams and Meanwhile, we got a nice looking board here with a chop between these two. Now, yeah, Donnie Peters has some new technology. He can, s he can see whoever is watching the stream and who hasn't liked it, and then he gets the address <laughs> and he just drives to their house. <laughs> he's like, knocks on the door <laughs> with a baseball bat in my hand. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? Uh. I wouldn't be too surprised to see Justin Young call here. Yeah. With the chop on board. Definitely a real possibility here. I thought you had King High to start with. So that works. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? I, th I thought you had King High from, <laughs> from the get. So. From the jump. Yeah. He didn't. <laughs> he had five high. Little update here on day two, or sorry, day one of event number two. Andrew Moreno has already been eliminated from the second event. Turn so way off and you said seven high, but whatever. Good thing you can <laughs> enter up 
to three times maximum in these early events. I think Nacho Barbera was up close to the top of that leaderboard. Year of Nacho. Marius is asking if Daniel or Phil Ivey is in these events. Negrano is. He cashed in this event last night. He's playing event number two as we speak. Have not seen Mr. Phil Ivey. He's been quiet. Triton Poker Series happened. He wasn't there. Yep. Obviously not here. Didn't wasn't that P PGT PLO series. Haven't heard about him playing cash games. He's retired. <laughs> he's retired. He's done. He's, he's done. done with poker. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a real job. He's got a <laughs> nine to five. You know. He's just over it. That <laughs> clip you posted, by the way, recently, or that short about um, Helmy saying he's better than Phil Ivey or in the Grand yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> being like you're not better than. Phil. I mean, that was just classic. Absolute classic. My favorite. My favorite. Um, Ivy Helmy's clip that we posted recently. And you can find it on our YouTube channel. Is an old Poker After Dark episode where Helmut and Ivy are playing a hand, and Helmut is like all chirpy and chipper, and Ivy's clearly in the bad mood. And Helmut grabs the shirt of Ivy, starts feeling it. He goes, "Oh, it's a nice fabric." And then Ivy goes, "Don't touch me." <laughs> He's like super, <laughs> super mad. Cocktails, cocktails, cocktails. All right, it, it, turning it around. What's Am I allowed? What's the <laughs> order? That's fine. Uh, just double angels envy, neat, neat. Yeah. Doubles, double angels envy, neat. I've never even heard of angels I'm gonna envy. I'm gonna Google that. <laughs> You're in big, big trouble now. It's time. That's right. I think so. I'm tired of losing 75 <laughs> percent. It's a bourbon, ladies and gentlemen. We're drinking bourbon today. Of course, it's a bourbon. Sometimes it's whiskey. Bourbon. Sometimes it's bourbon. Bourbon is for Mr. Justin Young. He's had enough of this losing. Got some Rampage Poker people, uh, fans in the chat. He was here in event number one, right? Uh, yeah. Is he out there? He might be out there for event number two. Let's have a look. Rampage enjoying a bit of tournament success. You know, really, uh, really, of course, you know, came to popularity through the YouTube streaming or uh, vlogging stuff. Some success in some cash games, but I don't know, probably what, last six months to a year, really had some uh, tournament success that has further put him on the map. Won an event here inside the studio, you know. Marius says, "Want to see Helmut implode like a dying star?" <laughs> well, that's just oh, me. Jesus. That is a great way to put <laughs> it. That's really funny. Yeah. Man of Straw said, "Does every event carry points towards the green jacket, or is it a certain series?" So, it's not the green jacket. That's for golf. <laughs> Purple jacket is for the poker masters. Different series. Um, the USPO has the 60 pound Golden Eagle trophy. You see a miniature version on the table between Joey Wiseman and Justin Young. So we have series leaderboards. We have a leaderboard dedicated just to the USPO. The person who finishes with the most PGT points from these 10 events wins the Golden Eagle trophy, the main Golden Eagle trophy, the big one, and a $50,000 championship bonus. Then across the entire PGT season, we have a leaderboard that ranks the players based on the PGT points that they earn in qualifying events. So a little bit of both. You can find all the standings and everything, the leaderboard, etc., over at PGT.com. Time in Vegas right now, 2.13 p.m. on a Friday. It is the perfect kind of day to watch some poker. Wiseman here with the raise, 150K. Still maintaining his chip lead, even though Justin Young has sort of put a stop to the big run that Wiseman was on. I mean, Joey Wiseman just, <laughs> just smashing flops. It's his day right now. For least. sure. You for know. sure it is. In position, flops top two pair. Justin Young, very playable hand. Ace high. Ace 10 is a good ace high. He's got the ace of clubs in his hand as well. This is a type of flop where being the pre-flop raiser, Joey Wiseman is likely going to continue betting a large portion of his range. So Justin's going to come along here. Okay. Not the club on the turn that Justin Young might have hoped for, but additional outs with the queen, now with a Broadway draw. I think we'll see Joey go for another bet. Just trying to determine the sizing. Five hundred thousand. 
close the pot here. Thomas in the chat from Ontario, Canada. Thanks so much for tuning in as Justin Young faces that half a million dollar bet. Justin Young does make the call with his ace high. Got some outs, but that's not one of them. Wiseman with the winning hand. Let's see if he's going to extract some more money from Justin Young, who has a strong looking ace high, but still, it's only ace high. Nine hundred? Nine hundred K, hefty bet. Justin Young, quick with the fold and can't seem to make anything happen in the so bigger pot. This man has bourbon ASAP. Yeah, yeah exactly. Let's go. Exactly. He needs a drink. All right, let's play that party music. Let's look at the standings here presented by Global Poker. Joey Wiseman in the lead, 8.6 million to Justin Young's 4.5 million. Almost a two to one chip lead here now for Joey Wiseman. We had 105 entries in this event. 15 players finished in the money, including Mr. Daniel Negreanu, who's off to a decent start. He was the shortest stack on the money bubble managed to squeak in there and those points could turn out to be pivotal at the end of the series. Sounds as though the blinds are going up here at the final table as 347 rolls off three spades. No spades for either player. Thanks once again to everyone who is watching. Appreciate having everyone in here. If you have any questions for myself, for Donnie, please send them into the chat. We're here all week. And let us know how your how your poker has been going lately. Have you been have you been winning? Have you been playing the local games? Have you been talking to me? Playing online? No, the chat. Oh, the chat. I mean, I know you lose. It's all you do. I'm getting buried. Wiseman betting 60K and Young so makes the call. That's not going to be good here with uh, the deuce as Wiseman once again makes the bigger pair. Bad Monkey saying playing online as we speak. Well, good luck at the tables. That's fair. But yeah, Don, how's, your, you check how's your poker career been 60, going? Yeah. yeah. Horrific. I mean, it's just, it's just brutal. Are you still a tournament grinder? I'm trying. I tried to play some cash the other day. It felt like. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I mean, just absolutely. I mean, I had an idea what was going on, of course, but I um, just really felt out of my element, mostly playing tournaments. Tournaments not going well, just, you know, getting my face smashed in and constantly being second best. It really, makes you, it really makes you admire the guys who do it for a living. I don't do it for a living. I have a job. I have a paycheck that comes in, you know, every two weeks. So I have that stability. Right, the people who do it for a living and are able to do it successfully, go through the ups and downs, go through the long losing streaks, etc. It really does make you admire, you know, their dedication to the grind, and you know, their confidence, mental fortitude, all that sort of stuff. Because it beats you up mentally, right? I mean, I guess most notably, Daniel Negreanu had that huge streak. Doug Polk made a big thing of it when he just wasn't winning tournaments. Um, Jeremy Osmond, same sort of thing a couple of years ago, was just, he was busting everything left and right in the studio. Chris Brewer, even recently, was like bubbling everything. Chris Brewer's had a great year to start this year. You know, you got to stick with it. Yeah, oh, it's tough. And you got to be confident in your abilities because sometimes losing might make you doubt everything that you do. Oh, yes. And in some cases, you might be actually making <laughs> big mistakes. <laughs> so, <laughs> poker, not, not the easiest way to make a living. Got some people playing online right now. 
We got official SLP says me and my mates have a friendly game tomorrow. My girlfriend doubled her money on Raisin tonight in the casino. That sounds like a great game. Maybe you should just play that professionally. <laughs> Joe Linda says winning the home game, of course. Andrew says, is there a promo code to get discount at Pokemon Go? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you use promo code DreamSeat, you can take $20 off the annual subscription. Only available in the full price markets. But yes, all annual subscribers are eligible for our Dream Seat giveaway, meaning you have a chance to win a seat into our million dollar free roll at the end of the year. The value of that seat priced basically in the $25,000 range. So excellent value there, $500,000 up top there in that event. And you might get to mix it up at this very table inside the studio. Justin Young still about a two to one dog here versus Joey Wiseman. But I think, uh, I think as I mentioned before, thank you, Matt. Yeah, she's coming quite for you. a lot of play left in this event. Thank, thank you. you. Quick dealer change as the action continues here. And uh, while the dealer is changing, you might as well head on over to shop.pokego.com right now to take your game to the next level and get some sick merch. We have lots of cool stuff available, hats, t-shirts, hoodies, and a whole bunch more. So go check it out right now, shop.bookgo.com for all the latest poker merch for you or your friends or your dad or your mom. Cool gift ideas as well. Today's dealers, one, two, two, next hand. Today's dealers, one, two, two, next hand. It's an announcement for the players in event number two by Paul Campbell. Tim Keck says, Young playing like a second place player. Donnie. Are you, are you reading anything from, from Justin Young's body language or attitude that, you know, indicates that he's uh, given up? Uh, no. I mean, I think he recognizes that right now things aren't going his way, um, but that can be the case in poker. Fortunately for him, they are deep enough that he has some wiggle room. He can kind of afford to go through this losing session, doesn't really need to force any action just yet, and he'll just kind of take it as it comes. It's not always going to be your day in poker. On the flip side, you know, Joey Wiseman might want to recognize that it is his day right now, at least in this time period, and really kind of like ramp it up and push that. Because it's not always you're getting dealt pairs, flopping two pair, bluffs are working out, etc. So you might as well take advantage of that as best you can. Young here raising the queen four off on the button. Wiseman with the ace deuce coming along. Another good heads up hand for Wiseman. This could be a tricky flop here. Two pair for Young in position. Wiseman bottom pair. Heads up, any hand you make goes up in value for sure. So that bottom pair is looking much better than it normally would. I like seeing how Young is immediately attacking here after his pre-flop raise, trying to you know, just play it off like it is a continuation bet, but little does Wiseman know. Young has smashed this flop. King on the turn here. Wiseman still just with the deuce. Young, of course, hoping that his opponent has a king or a queen. Haven't seen Young barrel all that much, so this might look fairly strong. Yeah, fairly strong, and this is a type of card on the turn that should favor Justin Young pretty well overall, so he's likely going to be betting a lot of it, which might entice Joey Wiseman to come along here, recognizing that situation. And he does. Wow. Joey Wiseman makes the call. We'll go to the river. Quite a few chips in the middle here. Eight of clubs completes the board. Justin Young finally gets a check mark in a sizable pot here. But let's see how this river action is going to go. Meanwhile, Flying Ape is saying, what is this? <laughs> This is no limit hold'em. The Cadillac of poker. That's right. Heads up play, US Poker Open event number one. Thanks wonder, for wonder thanks if for we're gonna see Joey Wiseman bluff here, having the ace of clubs in his hand. And he does check, okay. Young contemplating. 1.7 in the middle. 
counting out a pretty hefty one. 1.1. I think that's more. I think that's 1.3. Is it? 1.1. These are thick chips. It looked like it might have been six <laughs> high. I was yeah. confused. 1.1 million is the bet. Wiseman just with a two. I want to say Wiseman is thinking more about check jamming here than he is about calling. Well, he's definitely reaching for those time extension chips. That would be really spicy if he and He has the ace of clubs off. blocker here, so he knows Justin Young doesn't have the nut flush. Right. Wow, that'd be an amazing move. It might backfire in a horrible way. Always rooting for drama and upsets. It'd be amazing if Joey Wiseman finds a way to bluff here. Of course, he has a massive chip lead, so he could do that without risking his tournament life. Now Joey's been given off that sort of body language where he's probably only going to call fourfold. You know, he's not really looking like he wants to go and raise, you know. Now, now, <laughs> now, <laughs> now he's definitely not raising. Now the shove is done. <laughs> the shove is no longer happening. <laughs> well, if he shoves now, I mean, you got to just snap fold, right? <laughs> <You just laughs> Wiseman <laughs> lays it down after some deliberation, and Justin Young finally <laughs> rakes in a nice one. That was really funny. That'll be a nice little confidence booster for Mr. <laughs> Young right there. Justin Young there with the toss, 1.1 million. Even though he didn't get paid off on the river, it's good to be able to bet all three streets and take it down, close that gap. I know he's been beating you down quite a bit. Martin says, had an awful night last night going out first in a local league tournament. Ace King, Ace Queen, and Ace Jack all suited, plus Kings lost with all WTH. Martin, you got to just keep playing if you get all these premium cards. It's going to break right for you somehow. Arun Deep playing a 300 pound buy in 1 2 game. Love to see you guys all playing. Frosty says, big game on Sunday. Maria says, Paul got some lungs on him. I thought it was a train leaving the station. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Studio's packed. There's a lot going on. You got you to gotta yell. Get that message across. Okay. If you're just tuning in and you're new to our channel, please smash that like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. We're streaming almost every single day for the next week and a half. U.S. Poker Open coverage from Las Green Vegas. Night. Live action with some fun giveaways. Going to give away some annual subscriptions. We're going to give away some cool merch from our store. We're doing a whole bunch of cool stuff. You can even you can even play along with us. Check out play.pgt.com. We have some contests running where you can win some prizes. It's going to be 11 contests total. Wow. There will be one for every event. Um, and then there's going to be one for the overall series. So... 11 contest total, a couple hundred dollars in uh, value up for grabs and prizes, so get in there. Free to play, let's go. Vincenzo says, do you guys also stream PLO? Yeah, there are two PLO events in this US Poker Open Series, and we'll be streaming both of those final tables as well. They tell us no one likes watching PLO, so yeah. if you like watching PLO, exactly. you better be there for those streams. You better show up. <laughs> In my opinion, PLO is a player's game. It is definitely... I mean, the PGT PLO series was a player's series. Right. It was insane. Yep. They were blasting away, having a ton of fun, you know, whatever. It was great. Started today with six players at the final table. Lost four of them really quickly, including Andrew Moreno, Jonathan Little, and Nacho Barbero. Year of Nacho. Year of Nacho is uh, still ongoing. Ace 3 5 on the flop here. Young catches a 5. Weissman with the 
backdoor flush draw and also the gut shot. Same gut shot, however, that Justin Young also has. Actually, excuse me, Justin Young two pair already. 91% to win. A four would give Wiseman a straight. Wiseman did not pick up any additional outs on the turn, but King High might still look appealing. We saw him, you know, play King Deuce earlier to pretty much the maximum. Jack of Hearts on the river. Young gets the check mark with two pair once more. Young fires again. After checking the, f the flop, he's bet turn and river. 600k is the bet right now. Wiseman lays this one down, and Justin Young is chipping away at Slowly the but surely. Wiseman chip lead. Biggest career, career cash for Justin Young. Going back to December of 2008, when he cashed, I believe it was a World Poker Tour event, for $936,000. Yeah, he is a WPT champion. One of the, I think he won down in Seminole. <coughs> wow. I believe it was a 10K down in Seminole. That wasn't too long ago, right? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, like it wasn't within the last like five, right, six right, years, right. something like that, I think. On nines here for each player. 360. Limp on the button from Young. Raise from Joey Wiseman out of the big blinds. Young's going to come along here with the 9 4 clubs, but little does he know he's. <laughs> dominated here. Queen five deuce on the flop. from Joey and Young gives it up. So Young's biggest cash actually wasn't that WPT win. It was second place in a WPT event back in 2008 and then he won his WPT title down in Seminole 2016. That's the event I was thinking of. 670k in that one. So Also has a sixth place finish on the WPT an eighth place finish on the WPT. So Been around quite a while, a lot of success for Justin Young, of course. It's so impressive when players can, you know, do it year after year, and they might have good years and bad years, but they stay afloat and they manage to string together a career in the way that Justin Young has, which is really impressive. And when he finished second in that World Poker Tour event, which, by the way, was the Doyle Brunson Classic at the Bellagio, he finished second to Mr. Chino Reem. Chino Reem, baby. He's here, too. Legend. Shinarim won that event for $1.5 million. Third place, Evan McNiff, Steve Sung, Amnon Felipe, Steve Sung, and Hoyt, he at? Hoyt Corkins. I for sure watched this final table, <laughs> like for sure on TV back in the day. Ace high, the best hand here for Justin Young. Some other names that cashed in that 2008 World Poker Tour event. Mike Matisau, Cloney Gowan, Brett Ritchie, Nick Schulman, Martin DeKniff. It's just everyone was there. 
I love I love going through old old tournament results. It's always a lot of fun to to look at. As Wiseman takes a stab at this one, and Justin Young lets it go. Another question for the chat. I'm curious. What kind of what style of player are you? Are you loose and aggressive? Are you are you tight? You got some you got some post slop chops. I'm loose and aggressive, which is also why I usually don't make the first break. Jeremy Scheinberg says I'm a nit. The first the first step to being a nit is admitting you're a nit, so well done on that one. Lots of nits in the chat. Young with the raise. Jack 2 suited. Wiseman calls with 6 4 suited. Two diamonds on the flop here for Justin Young. A pair of fours for Wiseman. Tim says, he's an all-round player, but you can just call it a winning style. <laughs> now, that is, that is if someone asks me in the future, what style do you play? I'll say, I play like a winner, the That's winning right. style. Meanwhile, Diamond comes home for Justin Young. Just uh, Joey Wiseman picks up a dead flush draw. As Justin Young has the jack of diamonds. Interesting situation here as... Young got called on his 175k bet on the flop. Continues now on the turn, betting 450. Wiseman with a pair, a flush draw, and a gut shot straight draw. It looks a whole lot better than it is because he has 0% next to his <laughs> name. Regarding his playing style, Kale says, depends on how many drinks I've had. I become tighter the more I drink. Just can't focus. Just can't think about anything. Oh, wait, and wait on good cards. King of Spades completes the board. Justin Young with the flush. Let's see how much she's gonna go for here. Putting together a sizable bet that looks like 1.5 million. Indeed, is the bet. Even though Wiseman only has a four, still has a decision to make. A bit of a bluff catcher here. Does have a diamond blocker. Six blocks, you know, the straight cards or the straight possibilities that Justin Young could have. Ultimately, gives it up. Meanwhile, you can hear the Negranu cackle in the background. I mean, he's doing quite well in the tournament as Justin Young picks well, up these. Well, it could also mean he's firing out of the re <laughs> Yes, that's also possible. <laughs> Justin Young started with 101 big blinds, now down to 73 big blinds, but has managed to increase his stack. Just tuning in, we started this final play with six players down to the final two. And we're in for quite a battle as both of these players really want the win. Another really good hand here for Joey Wiseman. Ace, queen off on the button. I mean, Donnie, <laughs> I've heard <laughs> sources told me that ace, queen is a trouble hand. Eh, I've heard that. Heads up, though, I mean. Powerhouse? <laughs> Lose your house. What about what about <laughs> jacks? Willing to put your house on the line. <laughs> what about j I'm scared of jacks. What do I do yeah, with jacks? Full table. I mean, I get it. You know. There you go. Limp full. Kale says, parking lot hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's you're great. going to the parking lot. <laughs> I don't think he's going to the parking lot on this hand. Flopping top, top. Top, top. Kevin says, I'm a snap shove or snap fold kind of guy. I'm guessing you're playing turbo tournaments. Shimon is asking, what are the payouts? $231,000 for the winner. 
And let me just verify second place because who really cares about second place? <laughs> A lot of people do. Second place gets $168,000. That's quite a hefty match here. Quite a lot of money on the line. <coughs> Justin Young's beverage has arrived, so perhaps he's going to kick it into a higher gear. That's right. Liquid courage, baby. Not much table talk going on between these two. All business. Are you a table talker, Don? Uh, I mean, yes and no. If the occasion calls for it, yes. But I, you know, I'll tend to engage in conversation if <laughs> talked to. Right. But I'm not one to just open up and start talking to the other people at the table. You're not like. So how about the game last night? Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely not. I'm just. I'll sit there. You know, I'll be quiet. But if, if people ask me questions or they want to chat or whatever, like I'll, I'll be talking to for sure. Look, like these days are so long when you, when you play tournaments that being talkative just is, is exhausting. Yeah. When you're trying to focus on the game itself. No, for sure. I also just, I mean, me personally, when I play, like, I don't know what, what I'm giving off, what other people are picking up on, so why go out of my way without being prompted? You know, so I'll just be quiet until I'm asked a question. Then I'll just talk. I wonder if the chat has any good table talkers. I could never talk in a hand and, you know, keep a straight face and <laughs> all that stuff and then figure out what's going on at the same time. Yeah, the people that can do that are just on, on another level. I mean, you know, say all you will about Eric Person, but if I was facing him, I'd be He'd eat you alive. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'd, I'd just be ran over by a player with that style. King Jaybird says, I play tight aggressive, trying to add GTO elements to my game. I want a mix of Negranu, Hansen, and Helmut minus the blow-ups. Wow. It's definitely good to minus the blow-ups. If you want to mix GTO, gtowizard.com slash poker go. There you <laughs> go. It's a very good point, actually. It, it is. I need to go try it out. Maybe it'll help me. This might be the one of the few products I've ever two been involved with yeah, on the like partnership yeah. side of poker <laughs> where I had already used it beforehand. Right. You right. Know? So I'm just in. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I love that. Is your girl going to come down and sweat? Is she already here? She's been here, yeah. yeah okay. I thought I saw her earlier. Then. She's got a pretty good setup in there, I think. Oh, uh, okay. She's yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, I think, uh, the bar. I think they're streaming it out <laughs> A couple there. of big screens. It, yeah, uh, streams probably on, on the way, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's texting you everything I'm <laughs> doing. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I probably should have. I mean, we don't have our phones. Yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. I guess there's no way we could have. Find out on break. You know, a lot of people find out on the breaks. Sure. King Jaybird asked, who's gotten a penalty or warning in a tournament? Said he's gotten a warning once. I've never gotten a penalty or a warning. Same, never. much action the first half hour and then just not having fun no I too am. <laughs> that's why i'm just thinking about the viewers out there oh the viewers yeah it's true <laughs> you'll notice a change as in interesting the levels as heads, heads up, poker up is to me like i think for the average person i think it's kind of boring to watch yeah I, when i watch streams i generally do kind of like turn it off when they go heads up yeah. it's like <laughs> depends i mean like i don't i don't play like heads up matches or anything like that so it's the only time I ever get heads up is <laughs> yeah, we don't when, I, when I'm fortunate enough to be heads up for a tournament. Right, we don't do this often, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Goes back to what you were asking yeah. earlier about. You I know, did get to play that. Type of they had a heads, heads up tournament here last year. It was a lot of fun. Good hand 
here for Justin Young in the big blind after Weisman limps the button, 10-4 diamonds. You'll notice both Young and Wiseman when they did raise out of the big blind after their opponent limps, making it a little more than like the standard two to three X because they are going to have to act out of position if they get called. Continues and that'll get it done. Yeah, I haven't played many heads up events. I've never I've never played the World Series one. I haven't either. It's I mean maybe only played I mean I'm old, so the numbers might sound a bit big, but like maybe like eight eight heads up tournaments in my life. That's about it though. None of the World Series. I I'm always scared to play. You ever like, played that ten K? Is it ten K? I think twenty five K maybe? It, it maybe used to be ten and turned to the other one, but I think it went 25, 10, then back to 25. Oh, yeah. Check out the stacks at the top. Just about even. Wow. <laughs> Justin Young just starting some table talk. and Ever since he got that drink, man. Yeah, exactly Angel's right. envy. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there. <laughs> he should be a brand ambassador. <laughs> Couple Vin kings for both players here. Vincenzo says, I got a penalty once, but it wasn't my fault. All right, Vincenzo, <laughs> you better tell the story. I don't believe you. Know. Uh, this is one of those where it probably was 100% <laughs> Vincenzo's fault. <laughs> but he doesn't but remember. He's, he's going to tell the story, and, you know, it's going to be his side of the story. Of course. Is that my first one? Yep. I don't blame you. I'm just trying to, you know, you can just outplay me post flop. <laughs> Keep it small. Just a small ball you to death. <laughs> I don't know about that. I got enough time banks, maybe I can just stall to where we only have like 10 big blinds each. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your edges? <laughs> I'm a pretty good flipper. Both of these players have played extremely well heads up. Yeah, you they know, have. Like you can clearly tell that even though they said they don't have a ton of heads up experience, they, they certainly understand the dynamics of heads up play and know what they're doing. We've seen a nice variety of hands as well during heads up play. We've seen some three barrel bluffing, We've seen some over betting. We've seen some value betting. It's, it's had a little bit of everything. And it doesn't happen all too often that you get to see a heads up match with deep stacks. It's been, it's been really fun and entertaining to figure these guys out. And they themselves just said it on the broadcast that they think heads up play is rather boring to watch. But I've been, I've been thoroughly entertained so far. Six hundred. Both players here turn in a gutter. <coughs> Wiseman continuing to try and tell this story, which might not make sense to Justin Young because he didn't raise pre-flop. So is he really going to try and represent an ace here? Could obviously be betting a six, but is he going to be? Justin Young does have some additional equity with that straight draw to go along with his king high that we can see is the best hand. Didn't he wanted to give it up, but... Gave it up. I was about Yo. to do something really smart or really stupid. I don't know which. <laughs> Yo, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Looks like we're going to a really short three-minute break here. 
as Joey Wiseman and Justin Young are still heads up here for the title in event number one of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. Don't go anywhere. We will continue shortly with the conclusion of this event as we will be streaming this event for free live until we have a champion. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Jonathan Little with sevens in for all of it. 11 bigs. The other day I went to Triton and I was like, I didn't have time to. Can I get a count? Moreno with ace jack. And I start shaving by myself and I remove like one part of my mustache. <laughs> so you get ready for it. The, it's going in. The first event I won. It was so funny because I have to remove the whole mustache. <laughs> the first time in my life. Makes the call. Get, Here we go. Sevens again. Fourth time. That's insane. Jonathan Little all in and at Fourth risk with two guys. sevens. So Recently, crazy against I mean, Ace Jack. Like, I think time they say on, third time's a yeah. charm. I don't know about so the fourth. I never kind of did like something. It was it so yeah. funny because it's like, <laughs> kind of a like people so were commenting like, like you look like uh, from <laughs> from East uh, Europe or something. Like what, what gotta, is that? Yet you don't. I gotta look that up. Jack, mm -hmm. ten, Not four. Not even a spade, huh? All Moreno. You can get an eight. Yeah, take an eight. Seven, eight, nine. Any cards eight to make a sweat. straight or yeah, just find a seven. Queen. What about a queen? It is a queen. Oh, no, no, no. This is the one where I end up winning because you know how this goes. <laughs> Gonna need to get very lucky to do just that. Four times in a row. River card. It okay. is not a seven. Good and good that will do it good for Jonathan in Little. His third career PGT cash. The PGT major. Oh, obsession, John, uh, he's on the board. 63,000. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, hope, they don't, yeah. hope, they, hope they don't get mad. It's okay. You didn't bust or anything. You're good. <laughs> I guarantee I you, Jonathan's playing events you know too. He'll you play every event. Like, are you good? Day, I didn't do the other interview. We got it. We're patching up here. America's card room. There we go. Nacho. McEwen now the significant short stack, as you see on the top of your screen. He has 12 bigs, everybody else with at least 50. He's got him right where he wants him, Jeff. This mean the chip daddy? It might be toe daddies. <clears throat> you have kids? Hmm? You have kids? No. Oh, okay. Uh, what meant to be? 6-3. Another three on the turn. Nine ball for both on the river, we are headed towards a chop. Just completely defensive pot control for Moreno, check call. And his. Likes ball? tomorrow, and we'll give away an annual subscription. Ooh, that, that, that's okay. for everyone watching today. Yeah. Coming back in the tomorrow. mix for that. By the way, an annual subscription right now is worth like twenty-five thousand dollars. 
If you win the dream seat. <laughs> yeah, if you win the dream if seat. If you win the dream seat. Hey, you just want a shot, man. Exactly. There will be other ways to win dream seats as well. Um, we have the uh, Run Good Poker Series Dream Seat Invitational that is currently being offered. Playing a Run Good Poker Series event. If you win a ring, you can then compete in the Dream Seat Invitational Tournament at Thunder Valley in November. The winner of that tournament is going to come out and play in the PGT Championship. You guys can stay tuned to pgt.com slash dream dash seat. We'll continue to update with the promotions on how you can win there. Here's a look at the 2023 leaderboard of the PGT. Lotaro Guerra Cabriezo. Wow. The hardest name in the game. <laughs> Three wins, 774 points, already almost a million dollars in earnings, all coming from the PLO series. Kerry Katz and Alex Foxen also in the top three so far on the PGT standing. And yes, the PLO series and the mixed game series are going to be quite the, are going to provide quite the wrinkle as far as the overall standings. And I'm curious to see which one of those players is going to play some extra no limit events to ensure placement within the top 40. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they chase outside of, you know, their normal specialties. Or if those normal specialties are going to be enough to carry them through, Lataro being one example, there's enough stuff at the World Series of Poker in terms of PLO. We might run back another PGT PLO series later this Ooh. year. You know, so he could get there just based on the PLO stuff. I mean, yep. there's a crap ton of PLO at the World Series of Poker, you know, 10K and higher. Same with the mixed game stuff. You have all those 10K different championship events. You have stud, you got stud high low, Raz, horse, eight game, et cetera, all this sort of stuff. You got the 50K PPC, of course. We might also run back PGT mixed games later this year. So a lot of options for these players to be able to qualify for that top 40 on the leaderboard, very much different than years past. Arrived on the river here with 1.2 million in the middle. Wise made a 250 before the flop. Young called. Check, check on the flop. Turn, 325 from Young. Wise called. Got it. Here's the okay. river. Action goes check, check. Young, Young does have it. Makes a straight on the river. Way to set the trap six. there. Yeah. Trapping, trapping. Thought you had not much. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I was calling. Justin Young back in huh. the chip lead good. by yeah, only one, of those. one big blind. Not even a big blind. <laughs> Sip of the bourbon. Exactly. Feeling good. <laughs> brought, him, brought himself back into the game after the switch from coffee to bourbon. Sometimes that's just what it takes. Can you mix coffee and bourbon? Like yes. Can you put a little bourbon in your coffee? Yes, you definitely can. Uh, like a hot toddy, almost. There you go. A little coffee and Bailey's. Don't get me started here. Justin Young raising the button to 250. Wiseman here, just flopping it all. <laughs> of course, Eve. Of course. <laughs> of course. It's just Joey Wiseman's day. Flopping a straight with <laughs> the flush draw. Is there a, the five of hearts out there, maybe? Flying Ape says, okay, this is replay. Well, we are live right now, so in case you're just tuning in. We just showed some highlights on the break. As flush comes in. As Wiseman makes his flush. I mean, maybe he didn't want to make his flush in yeah. his mind, you know? I mean, could have just been fine with the straight, no more hearts. <laughs> Number seven comes in for Justin Young. Interesting card here. Giving Young trips there. Now might, uh, might entice him to pay off a bet depending on the sizing. Now Weissman is hating that heart on the turn even more as the likelihood of him getting value is shrinking quite a bit. Weissman going for value here with a small bet of just 200k. Let's see if Justin Young is going to pay this off. A little bit of a block, a little bit of trying to, you know, trying to lock up some value here. Not get too crazy. Justin Young has kind of just the type of hand that Joey's trying to target to get called, and he does. Stacks are tied, but no more. As Young makes the call, Wiseman rakes in the pot, and he's back up to over $7 million. Hey. 
Come on. What the hell? <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> you fought like the straight line too. Huh? The, with the heart. Cheering section. Yeah. It's lovely. So, Looked like a straight flush. Yeah. <laughs> Guess I can't get all that mad about that one. Still 60 big blinds for Justin Young as here's a look at the, the Joey Wiseman cheering section. Now he gets kings. Wow. This guy. Must be nice to be Joey Wise. Don't buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> limping the button with the kings. Wow. Young with. Taking a page out of Negranu's book. Right. Limping his pimping. Practically. Well, unfortunately for him, Justin yeah. Young has the, <laughs> the absolute worst hand possible. The, un <laughs> the unplayable three do soft suit. <laughs> Remember th the last time when Joey Wise had ace king, Justin Young had, uh, I believe it was. 4-5 offsuit? 4-3 offsuit. 4-3 offsuit. Just sold it. Yep. There you go. I mean, Justin just he can't even continue this flop. I mean, there's, there's nothing, nothing there. Nothing for him. Nope. <laughs> in case you're just tuning in, we got the final table coverage tomorrow of event number two. We have live reporting, written updates on PGT.com available for you. You see David Peters lingering there. Michael. They must be on break out there. Michael Wang. Mata Symbolus. Seth Berger there sitting down. But yes, as I was saying, pgt.com slash live dash reporting has all the updates from event number two. Up to 69 players so far in event number two. Quite a few new faces as well in the mix. Always nice to see some new players jump into the action. King 6-3 here on the flop. Wiseman with top hair once again. Joel says, what is needed to play in these events? Just the 10K. I'm killing low stakes in Houston, Texas. I want to be in this big event soon. Joel, get your butt on a plane <laughs> and come play the US Poker Open. This is free to play for anyone. And, well, it's not free to play for anyone. Well, I mean, it's, it's an open event. Yeah, open event. Open event, 10K buy-in. Buy-ins, of course, go up as the week goes on. And when you play in these events, free food from the Aria. Heck so yeah. you, you can eat back a little bit of the money you paid. Bad River card here for Justin Young is Joey Wiseman's two-pair best. That River could get Justin Young to put some additional chips in the pot. Just over a million in there. We do have satellites regularly for these series. You know, there was three satellites in the three days leading up to this. I think we awarded uh, 12 seats total. Wow. There was another satellite last night. Started at 6 p.m. So um, all of those were at the 1K price point. Bison with a nice check here. Does get Young to put in some more chips. 525 goes in. Wow, very coy play from Joey Wiseman. No snap decision, meaning he's considering raising? Yeah, I think this is a pretty good spot for a raise. I mean, you're not really worried about too much. Obviously, Queen 10 can come in there. 1.7. There it is. 1.7 million is a raise. A little over 3x coming back at Justin Young. And that pair of jacks sort of shrinks in your hand. Four or five missed. Backdoor hearts missed. Wiseman didn't take the uh, betting lead on the river after it went check check on the turn. So we, does he have a king? You know, all these thoughts going through Justin Young's mind could ultimately lead him to paying this one off. Young does unblock the hearts. chips look like they're coming out this could be trouble for Justin Young oh there he makes the call he is a non-believer but he will see that Joey Wiseman 
has a pair of kings to best, his pair of jacks, and all of a sudden... That one's worth it. That was a good one. That was a good hand. Justin Young down to just 3.6 million chips. Massive chip lead for Joey Wiseman after a beautifully executed river check race. Yeah, very well done there Game by one. Joey Wiseman. Excellent Sorry, I like to make recognition sure. like of the spot. Uh, You're not going to offend me. You're fine. Good sizing. Really capitalized on that opportunity. Justin Young just with a little too much of a hand there. Heads up. Uh, opted to pay him off. Thirty-six big blinds now for Justin Young. Still quite a bit, but not exactly trending in the right direction. <laughs> Very tough to come back from something like that. You almost, you almost want your want to give yourself a double up. <laughs> yeah, because right now you're about a double up away from being back to even. Going to be another tricky spot here for Justin Young. Bottom pair, backdoor flush draw. But he's once again second best to what was the flop top pair <laughs> of Joey Wiseman. Wiseman did check back on the flop after raising pre. Nine of hearts completes the board. Puts a one card straight out there, perhaps slowing things down just a little bit, but wouldn't be surprised if Wiseman goes for some thin value here. I think it'll be hard for him to get any extra money out of Young here, but. Three. Checks it back. Oh, good. I mean, Wiseman has made an like incredible. Of course he's no good. I mean, he's <laughs> Justin, you're no good on every hand, no, unfortunately, maybe. today. I mean, it's just the well, way well, it's hey, falling for you. Not he's made an incredible board. amount of <laughs> pairs. That's for sure. Uh, Do you guys think that Justin Young has it in him to make a comeback, or are we slowly but surely watching Joey Wiseman rake this one in? And of course, he already has a U.S. Poker Open title from back in 2021, and looks to add a second one to that list. Also, quick reminder, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for us and for the channel. We're trying to get to 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're only about 10,000 away. We could get there in the next week or so. Streaming live almost every day, with the exception of Sunday. I think, I think that should be our goal for this series. For the series? Yeah, get to 400K. So let's go. Smash that subscribe button. Let's go. That'd be amazing. Get in there. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Sign up some of the different accounts. Get your dog on yeah, YouTube. Your dog. My dog at gmail.com works. <laughs> That's probably taken, someone but for, someone add for some sure. numbers. <laughs> someone for sure has that. But yes, tomorrow streaming again at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. In case you want to cancel some plans already. Wiseman here with King High on the, on the button. Comes in for a race. Finally, a pocket pair for Justin Young. About time. I think he had threes earlier, but, you know, it's good to pick these up. 775. Luck to three bet it here. lays this one down and Justin Young gets to claw back just a little bit. <laughs> wow, William White seems to be having to read on Justin Young in the chat here. I have not been able to pick anything up myself, just Young experienced player in the live realm. Maybe the most experienced player in the live realm. Maybe second to only Negreanu in this entire room. Eric Seidel, of course, also here. A 
Young limps. Wiseman checks with a very strong looking queen nine suited. Flops himself a queen. I mean, Justin Young just keeps flopping second best hand every yeah. single time. Samad saying, before you ask, I'm drinking Rocky. What is that? I believe it is a, a liqueur of some kind. Perhaps a, a type of local brew in the clear variety. Might be a Greek thing, actually, now that I think about it. Could be wrong. Young betting 350K with his pair of deuces. Wiseman with a very well-hidden pair of queens. I think his Wiseman is happy to call this and see what Young is going to do on the river. Young does have some outs. River card, eight of hearts is not one of them. Wiseman in a great situation here to pick up some more chips. Young are likely to stab again, and he doesn't. Goes check, check. Wiseman shows down the queen. And frustration growing for Justin Young. One I mean, more. Normally when you're making pairs heads Put up, test. it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, that would be the Justin test. Justin Young's pairs are always check, second check. best. Had a pair, probably. Oh. A little bit too good. Yeah. Rivered it? Hmm? Rivered it? No. Oh. That's exactly nah. right. The pair is getting him into trouble. Yield is saying on, it's a Eli. Turkish thing, the Rocky. You learn something every day when you're doing poker commentary. Wiseman on the button here, 7 5 offsuit. Given, given his style of play, can't see, can't see him folding any. Does decide to limp. I mean, <laughs> I come mean on. it's just, it's like laughable at this point. Joey Wiseman <laughs> just catching it, catching it, catching it. Uh, I mean, listen, not to take away from how good of a player Joey is. Right. But he is getting hit with the deck. It's just funny at this point. And Justin Young always seems to like have some sort of piece of it. Here yep. he's got a gut shot with backdoor hearts. And Joey's just got top two. <laughs> like, it's just great. So tough for Justin Young. And Justin Young leads and gets raised here. Don't think Justin Young's going to go anywhere. I know he hasn't directly connected, but he's got some things working for him. There it is. Queen of spades on the turn. Young's only got 9%, of course, looking for a straight. My man can't even turn another heart. I mean, <laughs> it's just been that kind of day. It would have been, it would have been a, a, a more fair fight if the turn no, was like the a queen heart. Of yeah. The queen of hearts. Yeah. The queen of hearts out there. We're going to see 550. Joey. There you go. Still over half pot. Justin Young quickly gives it up. Justin Young now down to 2.6 million. He's down 1.5 million from the start of today. He came into this event as the chip leader. Now the short stack with only 26 big blinds. Joey Wiseman up to over 105 big blinds and Young slowly but surely getting into all in territory. Yeah, that hand number 63 there plus 2.2 million. That was the big check raise on the river with two pair. That really helped Joey extend that lead. Okay, a little a7. And of course, Joey's just got his wow. queen. I mean, it's <laughs> this is got uh, him dominated again. Incredibly tough sledding for Justin Young during this heads up battle. 800. Here comes the three bet. Maybe Justin Young is going to decide to take a stand here, and that will be very poor timing. But you can't really fault him at this point. 26 big blinds for Justin Young. Is he going to make a stand here? 
Like good size in here from Joey. Oh, there All in. Is. There's the shove. Joey that Wiseman. Yep. That call. I was going to say, makes the call right away because that, of course, is what you're supposed to be doing there with Ace Queen. That is exactly what Wiseman was hoping Ace for seven. when he three bet. And now Justin Young at risk to be eliminated, holding Ace seven offsuit, just 24% equity to get the double up and to get back up to 5.3 million. If he does hit, we're going to be basically back to square one as far as this match goes. But Joey Wiseman here in a great situation to win the first event of the 2023 USPO. Flop comes, King Deuce four, backdoor Ooh. chop outs to stay optimistic here for Justin Young. Watch but of course, a seven would give him a double up. Wiseman board. a commanding yeah. lead. Three, five. King on the turn. <laughs> oh, we got some yeah. more chop outs. Chop outs for Justin Young or a seven for the double up or otherwise Joey Wiseman will be our first champion of the USPO and River Card is an ace Good the game. queen yeah. plays and Joey Wiseman is the winner of Thank event you. number one $10,000 no limit hold'em he takes home $231,000 and of course those coveted PGT points Justin Young finishes runner up not a bad result for him to come into this series but man Joey Wiseman dominating during yep. heads up play. 168K is what Justin Young takes home for. Good battle, man. His, yes, good, good battle that he did face here with Joey Wiseman. And we'll be back tomorrow with more coverage of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. Come back for 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central European time. Join the fun, join the action, as we will have the final table of event number two, and we're streaming the whole thing for free once more. On your way out, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Remko Rinkema, alongside me, Donnie Peters. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks all so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. There's a few factors. One is we haven't been live in a long time. So, you know, there's not a lot of awareness. So, I mean, these people will come back tomorrow, plus wh whoever the new people are. And a final table with Justin Young as the biggest name is hard to really sell. Um, and it's slippery slope. Yeah, it's hard to sell. Yeah, it's hard to sell. Like that specific thing, yeah. so, so, the, so the only thing we can do is tell people if